A week ago, Governor Christie started using the term Corzine Democrats to describe his opponents on the tax cut issue. It's become part of his repertoire now. The Corzine Democrats are back, everybody. John Corzine ran this state into a bridge abutment. And then he went back to Wall Street and did exactly the same thing. We know the type of leadership or lack of leadership that he and his colleagues provided to this state over the time they were here. More tax increases, nearly $9 billion in tax increases while he was governor. We can't take it anymore. And so now's the time to have a fight, everybody. And this summer's gonna be fight time. It's gonna be fight time this summer. Christie held his second town hall in 20 hours in Mawa this morning to pound that message home. The budget the legislature sent him this week defers a tax cut until next year. And in a separate bill, Democrats voted to reinstate the millionaire's tax, a surcharge on incomes above $1 million. These folks are addicted to tax increases. They're addicted to them. So you know what it's like when someone's addicted to something and you don't get it for 891 days. They're on the floor, they're sweating, they're twitching, they need it bad. So what did they do this week? They passed an $800 million income tax increase. Democrats believe they sent the governor a prudent budget, but Christie says they're playing politics with the tax cut. He urged his audience to vacation at the Jersey Shore this summer and managed to work one of his famous lines into that message. So if you see these poor side Democrats on the beach, I want you to go up to them, and I want you to say, I am here on behalf of our governor. Get the hell off the beach and get back to Trenton and vote my tax cut. Right now. Christie was thwarted this week by the Democrats in Trenton, who didn't give him the immediate tax cut he proposed. Now he's trying to turn that against them, and he's got the bigger megaphone. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron in Mawa.